Hi there, I am going to show you a sample today on how to use the Americana Decor Crackle Medium and it goes with our chalky paint finish. So we're going to start out with doing the top here. Now when you do a crackle, it's best if the darker color is the color that cracks through and the lighter color is on the top. That shows distress. So we'll give this guy a nice shake here. And remember, when using chalky finished paint, you're looking to have those brush strokes in them, which is why I chose to use a brush that is nice and it's got stiffness to it. Now this paint goes a long way. You will find Now that our base coat is dry, we're going to add our crackle medium. Crackle medium is a two-part process. You always do your base coat. Make sure you shake it very well. And it comes out this creamy color. Once again, we're going to take another brush. It's got a little bit of a softer bristle to it. And we're going to put a thick layer of this crackle. And remember, the way that you put your brush strokes is the direction that the cracks are going to crack. If you painted them up and down, your cracks would go this way. But I'm going to paint it side to side. Okay, nice thick layer here. Now that our crackle medium has sat on for 10 to 15 minutes, you see it's still milky white, but you can see that it's kind of got small cracks in it now. So now we're going to take our light color, and here I am using heritage. Ooh, this one's awfully thick. Okay, and remember the way that we wipe our crackle on is the way our cracks will crack, so we also want to do that with our paint. Now you should begin to see cracks immediately after applying a layer on. Okay, it's going to begin to crack through. We'll add a little heat to it and speed that up so you can actually see the process here. So let's add a little heat and watch how it begins to crack. So this board has a few more moments to dry. I did use the heat gun to speed up the process, but as you can see, um, it does need some of its own settling time. So we're just gonna move this guy aside. As good as I can here. And we'll just set him aside for right now. Now to complete our project, we are gonna paint the letters H-O or H-heart-M-E. And we're gonna apply those to it. So let's start with the H, and I am going to use the dark brown that I originally started with since that's the cracked through color. So I'm just going to paint these guys up real quick. Okay, 
Now that I finished painted the H, the E, and the M, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the heart red. I think that'll give it a real pop on the, the board here. So that one we're gonna use Romance. Remember, shake the goodness out of it. Okay, I'm going to use the little bit that's in the lid here just so I can get it back in there. And we're just going to apply the paint here. And remember, this is water based, so if you see my hands here, no worries, this comes right off with just a little bit of water and soap. Don't forget, you do want those brush strokes. So as you can see, there's lots of strokes. So there's our heart. Now I'm going to dry this, and I'll be right back to you. Now with your chalky finish paint, you do need to seal it. We come with a variety of sealers. Here I'm going to use the Ultra Matte Varnish, which is what I applied to the product already. And what that'll do is it'll prevent it from scratching. Chalky finish paint doesn't have the bonding power that most acrylic paints do. So you absolutely need to seal every project. Otherwise, you'll just scratch it right off. So what we are going to use is E6000. This is a multi-purpose glue, also a very good value. We're going to apply the E6000 to the back and stick it onto our surface. Now I thought it'd be really cute to add a doily just right behind our heart. That too will also be stuck down with E6000. And now, our home sign is complete.